Welcome everyone to a Khan Academy tutorial. We're doing difference of squares, the intro. The prompt is asking us to factor as the product of two binomials. The pattern for difference of squares is first, we only have two terms. So it's not like our normal factoring of trinomials. It's a little bit different. The second thing we need to recognize is that both of these terms are perfect squares. What do I, what do I mean by that? Well, it means, let's take this guy. If we take the square root of x squared, we're gonna get a value that's a rational value. And then we take the square root of 100, we're not going to get a decimal. We're going to get 10. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the pattern for factoring perfect squares is I'm going to underline this here. Okay, we got the blue and we're going to make this green. Okay, so we're going to use two parentheses like we did with our other factors. Um, but this time, what we're going to do is we're going to put the perfect or the square roots of these two values inside the parentheses in certain spots. So for the first uh, term, we're gonna put the square root, and I'm gonna write, this is the general form. We're gonna put the square root of the first term here in both of these spots. And then we're gonna take the square root of the second one in both these spot, spots. And then one of these is gonna be positive and one is gonna be negative. And that's the form, okay, this is, this is your go-to, this is your formula, this is your format, this is your protocol for difference of squares difference of squares. Okay, so using this, we're gonna go ahead and apply it. We're gonna put our parentheses. Square root of the first one we already determined, boom, x. We're gonna plop x down in the first spot for both. Second uh, square root is 10, boom, we're gonna put 10 in both those spots. We're gonna make one positive and one negative, and that's all there is to it. So we have parentheses x, that's not x, that's times, x plus 10, and x minus 10 in parentheses. Now it doesn't matter which one's first, you can have x minus 10 and then x plus 10. That part's not important because it's the product, community property. The rectangle below has an area of 81 minus x squared meters and a width of nine minus x meters. What expression represents the length of the rectangle? Essentially, we're trying to find the product of two things that equals 81 minus x squared. We already know one of them is nine minus x. So what we can do here is just apply what we learned in the previous uh, page, the previous problem. And that's what we want to find the square root of 81. That's nine, and we're gonna put that nine here and here, it's already put there. And then we're gonna find the product, of the square root of x squared. We're gonna put that here and here. That one's already there. And we make one positive and one negative. That one's already negative, so there we go. We have nine plus x, this is gonna be our length because we're told this is already our width. So nine plus X. And you don't need, I guess we can put in parentheses. It's not needed because it's by itself. So we're just gonna put nine plus X, even though normally you'd put it in parentheses. Factor the product of two binomials. Okay, recognize that we got two perfect squares. That's important. That's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. Get our parentheses, one, two, one, two. We're gonna put the square root of one that's one here and here. We're gonna put the square root of x squared, x here, here, make one positive, one negative, and that's it. One plus x, parentheses, one minus x. Or one minus x, parentheses, one plus x. Yeah, either way. All right, last question. Aren't you excited? Here we have x squared minus 16, and we know one of the lengths is x plus four. One of the factors is x plus four. So we know x plus four times something is gonna give us x squared minus 16. Well, let's just factor this. So we have our first one here. It's gonna be x and x, square root of x squared. Square root of negative 16, or sorry, just 16. And that's four and four. We have to make one positive and one negative. And there's our answer, x plus four, x minus four. So the length has gotta be x minus four. We already have the x plus four there. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video, pretty short. If you need anything else, let me know. There's gonna be another Difference of Squares video coming up right after this, the non-intro. Hope you enjoyed it. Watch again sometime.